Prince Harry's been excluded from a prestigious book celebrating top military personnel who trained at Sandhurst. In what's been seen as a snub for the Duke of Sussex, the book called They Also Served includes the top 200 alumni of the military college, in which Prince William does make the cut and even penned the foreword to the guide. And in yet another humiliating blow, Harry and his wife Meghan were made the butt of a joke at last night's glittering Golden Globes. How great was Imelda Staunton in The Crown? Wasn't she amazing? The portrayal of the Queen was so good, Prince Harry called her for it and asked her for money. Like I said, I didn't write all these. That one's not mine. Uh, turns out Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will still get paid millions of dollars for doing absolutely nothing. And that's just by Netflix. Wow. Joining me live in the studio now, Royal Commentator, Fia Hagen. Good to see you, Fia. Thanks for coming in. So let's start with this book. Yes. And the omission of Prince Harry, who, of course, did serve nobly. Yes, he did. Now, this is a book of 200 people that they've selected to write about. I just remember the, print, the, the foreword was written by Prince William. Mm. So he maybe had a hand in who was in the book. And let's also remember that 15 out of 59 current world leaders went to Sandhars. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they are in there as well. But yes, he has been left out of this book. But like I said, Prince William wrote the foreword. He is in it. Perhaps he had a hand in making sure it was edited correctly, shall I say. Well, that, I mean, surely won't help the hostilities between the brothers, will it? I mean, definitely <coughs> not. We've definitely gone into 2024 with the relationship between Prince William and Prince Harry at rock bottom, and it doesn't seem to be getting any better. No, it seems like an all-time low, really, doesn't it? It does. Just absolutely no communication Whatsoever. at all. Yeah. So the Golden Globes was described as yes. glittering, and glitter it definitely did. Yeah. I mean, gosh, I like. I thought Jennifer Lopez's dress was just completely magnificent. Yes, Margot Robbie. And you'd look Brilliant. lovely. You'd look lovely in that dress. Thanks, I'll get one. Very nice. <laughs> Nice. Um, so what was going on in terms of roasting Harry and Meghan? Well, Joe Coy was the host. Who is Joe Coy? He is a comedian, allegedly, in Hollywood. Mm. I have to say, personally, I didn't think his monologue was the best I've ever seen or heard. No. It wasn't that great. But a couple of jokes aimed at Meghan and Harry and aimed at the royal family. The first one you saw there, that awkward joke about them being paid by Netflix, uh, millions of dollars to do nothing, and then it cuts to a Netflix executive who looks very awkward there. And another joke was made later on when he was talking about succession being about a rich, white, dysfunctional family. And he says, oh no, that's the crown. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. I don't know. But then he was also blaming the scriptwriters for the jokes. He was kind of like, oh, I didn't write these, blame somebody else. I think poor delivery and maybe some cheap shots on Very display there. Very possibly. Now, the Epstein files, there is breaking news and you're going to deliver this for us. There is breaking news on the Epstein files. So more files have been unsealed this afternoon. And in those files, it's been alleged that there are sex tapes of Prince Andrew, Bill Clinton, and Sir Richard Branson, which were taken by Jeffrey Epstein. So this is according to Sarah Ransom, who was a victim of Epstein, and she's written about these claims and they were unsealed in this disposition today. Now, she said that her friend had sexual intercourse with Clinton, Prince Andrew and Richard Branson, and sex takes were in fact filmed on, on each separate occasion by Jeffrey. And she goes on to say, thank God, uh, she managed to get hold of some footage of the film sex tapes, which clearly identify the faces of Clinton, Prince Andrew and Branson having intercourse with her. She said that Epstein's not seen in any of the footage, but she says she can personally confirm with her own two eyes that she's seen evidence of these acts and it clearly identifies these people having sexual intercourse with her friend. She says when her friend had the courage to speak out and went to the police in 2008, nothing was done and she was utterly humiliated by the police department. Do, do we know if her friend was underage at the time? We don't know that. We don't. No, we don't know that. We know that Virginia Dufre was underage. Uh, she was 17 at the time. Now, this person says that she has snippets of those sex tapes, that she managed to get some and they were sent to her. So, if this has been unsealed in documents on Monday, I guess the next stage would be, let's see it. My goodness. And, and, and what is the story in terms of uh, access to it 
for the mainstream media, for the rest of the world, that kind of thing? Well, this is the thing. If, if she says she has these snippets, see, she said that she took some snippets from her friend and sent them to herself. I assume if you have those, you would most certainly not delete them. And I would guess she will probably sell them to the highest bidder. Wow. My goodness, yeah. my yeah. goodness. So we've heard, haven't we, that Prince Andrew has, uh, you might say, kind of uh, secreted himself or closeted himself mm. in a room in his huge mansion, Royal Lodge. Yep. And the phrase people keep using is he hasn't got the emotional bandwidth to deal with this. Yep. This can't help, can it? It's, this certainly won't help. And actually, we thought like the biggest data dump was going to be on Thursday and Friday, but actually these files are being unsealed little by little. So there could be more allegations coming this week. So if he hasn't got the bandwidth to do what happened last week, I mean, sex tapes, if they emerge, could be hugely, hugely damaging. And like I said, if more files are unsealed as the week goes on, this could get worse and worse and worse for Prince Andrew. I fear. Thank you very much indeed. My goodness, watch this space.